the Medicare Extra Help Program. Now, a lot of people confuse the Medicare Extra Help Program for the Medicare Savings Program, which helps pay the cost of Medicare Parts A and B, also known as state Medicaid, which only helps pay medical costs that are not paid by Medicare. The Extra Help Program only pays costs associated with Medicare Part D or your prescription drug costs. Now, the Medicare Savings Program includes the Extra Help Program, and I think that's where a lot of the confusion is at. But make no mistake about it, these are two completely separate programs. So if you don't qualify for the Medicare Savings Program, you may still qualify for the Extra Help Program. Now the Medicare Extra Help Program has another name known as Low Income Subsidy or LIS, and it's only gonna help pay for costs associated with prescription medications. Now, the Medicare Extra Help Program value is estimated to be worth about $5,100 a year. And one in four people on Medicare qualify for extra help, yet they've never applied. Now, there's two benchmarks they're going to look at to see if you qualify. One of them is assets and the other is income. For instance, if you are a single person and you have assets that are worth less than $15,510 a year, you can qualify but there's another benchmark, your income. So if you're single, you'll need to make less than $1,700 a month in order to qualify. Now for married couples living together, they can have almost twice the amount of assets, but their income needs to be less than about $2,300 a month. Now, if you're interested in knowing the difference between assets and income, assets are things like your bank account, stocks and bonds, real estate, savings bonds, mutual funds, IRAs. They do not count the home that you live in as an asset or personal vehicles or life insurance with a cash value, burial plots, or even social security income back payments. Now for the income benchmark, they're talking about how much money you make in your social security check, any railroad retirement benefits that are monetary, same with veteran benefits, pensions, annuities, alimony, unemployment, workers' comp, and disability, and this is always a before deduction calculation. And there's different levels of subsidies. You may get a full subsidy, which will be 100% subsidized, or you may be partially subsidized. And the level of subsidy you receive determines how much you'll pay in a monthly premium, how much you'll pay in a deductible, and how much your Medicare drug program co-payments will be. For instance, if you're on a Medicare drug program that's costing you $30.30 a month, and you wanna know how much you're gonna pay after you get the extra health program, your level of subsidy will let you know. For instance, if you get a 25% subsidy, you're only gonna pay $22.70 a month for the $30.30 a month Medicare drug program premium. And a 50% subsidy cuts it almost in half, 75%, you're only gonna pay $7.60. And if you're lucky enough to get a 100% subsidy, you won't pay any of your plan premium as long as it is considered a benchmark extra help plan. Now, typically Medicare drug programs have uh, co-payments for brand name drugs and generic drugs. But if you get a subsidy, it will lower the cost of your copayment. For instance, a 100% subsidy takes a $42 drug copay to $9.85 or less. And on generic drugs, you'll pay $3.95 or less. And all other subsidies, you'll just pay less than the copayment that your plan says you will pay. How much you will pay determines on the Medicare drug program that you choose. Now to apply, for the extra help program is relatively easy. You can simply go to socialsecurity.gov and you click on the menu tab and from there you'll see a blue hyperlink that says extra help with Medicare prescription drug plan costs. Click on it and you can apply directly online and it only takes about 10 minutes to do. Now if you're not savvy with the internet you can simply call Social Security and they'll be able to do it over the phone or maybe you can try and get an appointment in person. 
and they will notify you by mail within 10 working days as to whether you got the program or not. And your award letter that you will receive will either tell you you got an award and the level of subsidy you received, or you could get a denial letter that says you didn't qualify. Now, if you get a denial letter, there is an appeal process and you'll have to appeal within 60 days of the date of the letter. Now, there's a process to appeal. If you decide to appeal, they're going to provide you a hearing by telephone and the person that does the hearing will not be the person that denied you originally. And they're going to look at any new facts you have. And if you can present some new facts, you may win your appeal and get the extra help that you applied for. Now, to file an appeal, you're going to have to find a form SSA 1021. Now, if you can't find that form, you can simply go to resourcemedicare.com, click on the Learn tab. There's a document vault there where you can find all kinds of Medicare documents that will help you when it comes to the extra help program. Or you can just contact us and a Medicare pro will do all of this for free. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm the voice and the creator behind the video you just watched. I've been trained in Medicare teams for over 21 years. So if you're an insurance agent looking for a little bit extra, we do this kind of content every Monday at 10 a.m. Check us out.